Six ayat of the surah in the beginning are as though Muslims are being reintroduced to who God is. Just praise of Allah and you know the grandeur of Allah, the greatness of Allah. Before we get into the subject matter of the weakness of Iman. Why? Because perhaps the weakness of your Iman and mine is directly related to the fact that we're not appreciating the greatness of Allah enough. Maybe before we address that problem, we should go straight into the solution. And the solution, the first solution offered in these surahs for the weakness of Iman is declaring Allah's perfection and observing the rest of the universe around us. That's the first solution. Going back to the basics. لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ To him alone belongs the dominion, the kingdom of the skies and the earth. يُحْيِي وَيُمِيدِ He gives life and he gives death. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ And he is in complete control over all things. وَهُوَ الْأَوَّلُ وَالْآخِرُ وَالظَّاهِرُ وَالْبَاطِنُ What I will highlight though, is usually when Allah mentions His names, He does not put a wa in between them. He doesn't say to us, Huwa Rahim Wal Ghafoor. He doesn't say that. He doesn't say Huwa Rahman Wal Rahim. He doesn't say that. But what does he say here? Huwa Awalu Wal Akhiru Wal Zahiru Wal Batiru. This is unique. This is unique. And this is unique because these all of these names are opposites. They're actually antonyms. He is the first and the last. He is before all was and he will be after all is gone. He's the first and the last. وَالظَّاهِرُ And He is the, the obvious one. There's no reality more obvious than Allah Himself. That is the ultimate reality. He is the ultimate reality. وَالْبَاطِنُ And there is no great entity, no greater entity hidden than Allah Himself. He's the most obvious and the most hidden at the same time. The one who re- observes Allah's creation and reflects with the mind that Allah has given them, this will be the most obvious reality that's, that's ever been there for them. And Allah already told us in Makkah and Quran that the best of all creation is the human being. لَقَدْ خَلَقْتَ الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمِ We honored the, the children of Adam. So it's a special status among creation that we enjoy. But when it comes to declaring tasbih, declaring Allah's perfection, Allah Azza wa Jal in these surahs says, all of every, everything else, all other creation declares His perfection. And then of course, if we're the best of all creation, who should be doing the best tasbih? We should be. If we're the best of creation, then fulfilling that right of Allah should be done best by us. Not only is it not being done best by the human being, who are the best of human beings? Believers. The ones among the human beings, on account of the fact that you're a human being, you already owe more tasbih than all other creation. Because you're the best of all creation. But on top of being a human being, you are also a believer. Now the burden is even heavier on you. So what happens in these surahs is first Allah says, the entire universe is doing what it's supposed to. What happened to you? You're a believer.